Hello everyone and welcome to my Word of the Week and I'll be taking my message from the JSM Word for Every Day and I will be reading from Genesis chapter 4 verses 3 and 5. And in the process of time it came to pass that Cain brought of the fruit of the ground an offering unto the Lord and Abel he also brought of the firstling of his flock and of the fat thereof. And the Lord had respect unto Abel and to his offering, but unto Cain and to his offering he had not respect. And Cain was very wroth, and his countenance fell. There is no difference between the two brothers, Cain and Abel, but an internal difference between their sacrifices. They are both corrupt branches of a decayed tree, both born outside of Eden, both guilty, both sinners, no moral difference in both sentenced to death. The words by faith, Hebrews 11, 4, teach that God had revealed a way to approach himself. In Romans 10 and 17, Abel accepts this way. Cain rejects it. Abel's altar speaks of repentance of faith and of the precious blood of Christ, the Lamb of God without blemish. Cain's altar tells of pride, unbelief, and self-righteousness. Abel's altar is beautiful to God's eye and repulsive to man's. Cain's altar, beautiful to man's eye and repulsive to God's. These altars exist today around the one that is Christ and his atoning work. Few are gathered. Around the other, many. God accepts the slain lamb and rejects the offered fruit. The offering being rejected so of necessity is the offer. We must ever understand that God looks at the sinner not at all because there is no point. He knows instantly what the sinner is. He looks at the offering and the only offering that he will accept is the uh, sacrifice of Christ. And other offerings is immediately rejected. The only way to God is through Jesus Christ, John 14 and 6. The only way to Jesus Christ is through the cross, Luke 9 and 23. The only way to the cross is by denial of self, Luke 9 and 23. And that concludes my word of the week. And remember that God loves you. Most believers that have been truly been born again and want victory over the world, the flesh, and the devil, they want to please God. They trust him for salvation. And then they go about trying to sanctify themselves through programs, fads, and gimmicks. Five ways to three steps to three keys to get the victory instead of trusting in the sacrifice of Christ. They bring God their works of the flesh and say, God, look what I have done. It's an age-old problem going all the way back to Cain and Abel. But hear me, God will never accept our efforts and how noble they may be. He will only accept the work of Christ. The believer cannot save themselves and the believer cannot clean themselves up. It takes the power of the Holy Spirit to take out the old and put in the new. So I say to you, anchor your faith in Jesus Christ and his finished work and do not allow it to be moved to anything else and set yourself apart unto God on a daily basis and yield to the power of the Holy Spirit and let him do that work in you that only he can do and he can do anything because he is God. God bless.